All right, we're live with uh, Zavon Hines. You might recognize yes. him. You might recognize him. He uh, he scored one of my favorite uh, league cup goals ever against one of our you know most lovely uh, most loved clubs, uh, Millwall, back in uh, what was that? Uh, what year was that, Zavon? Uh, Two thousand nine, I think. Two thousand nine, yeah. Um, well, we're we ain't Millwall, and we ain't Millwall. 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 We are the Millwall. Hate us. <laughs> I just got just gonna mention real quick our sponsors. I, I got to thank uh, DrinkwareDesign.com for these awesome mugs that uh, they put our logo on. You can put any logo you like on there. The link is in the description below. DrinkwareDesign.com. Um, one of the gentlemen that works over there is a hammer and he was very gracious to give us a couple of these mugs which is awesome and uh strava craft coffee is our coffee sponsor which i drink every single day and that's also in the description below so please click away um and also lastly we have t-shirts for sale uh on bonfire.com slash ahtv hyphen two uh we only have a few more days left for that's going on it says american hammers tv on the front and the back it says uh, west ham supporters over land and sea so you know multiple sizes worldwide shipping etc all right let's get cracking crack, crack into this um well i want to start off with how did you how did you get into the academy the west ham academy how did that all play out uh, um i started quite late to be fair um I I was playing for a Sunday league team in a in a like an amateur tournament in Watford, and they West West Ham was playing in that tournament as well, but in the professional se uh, sector. And basically, my team we went all the way to the final, and I think I scored three or four in that game. Um, I was only 15 at the time, so it was right, and that's that's where they saw me. And then uh, they spoke to my manager at the time. And asked me to come in for a trial, so I was happy with that. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, so, who was it that actually reached out to you? Did they reach out to you right after the tournament, or how did that all work out? Yeah, well, wasn't it? Wasn't it Chris Col Didn't Chris Coleman spot you first seven? No, no, no. I didn't really know Chris Coleman. Um, basically, it was Alex Dyer. He used to be at West Ham as well. He was the strength and conditioning coach um, for the under 18s at the time, but. He was my PE teacher beforehand. Oh, blimey. Yeah, so... And he was only my PE teacher for, like, six months. And then he went to West Ham, he took up that role, and then he said he, that he was going to bring me. But it took a little while. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> um, he, he Obviously, he told him about me. But obviously, I think it was halfway through the season, so I had to wait till the end of the season. But this tournament was at the end of summer. And then a guy called Paul Senior, he was a scout as well for West Ham at the time. And he contacted me on the next day. And you got straight into it? Like you got you just got straight into training or how long how long did that process take? Um, normally, well back then, normally the trial was six weeks. So I, I was told to come in on on a Monday. So I went in on the Monday with the under sixteens and trained and played a couple games, one in mid one on a Tuesday and another game on Saturday, and then they signed me on the Monday. Blimey! <laughs> Monday. Awesome. Uh, uh, what, what were the feelings that went through your head when you when you realised, cool, blimey, West Ham have actually signed me? <laughs> um, to be fair, when, when I was a kid, I didn't really think about it. <laughs> I just just enjoyed it because as a kid, you want to play for a professional club. Now, who did you support at the time when you were that age? Um, Arsenal. Oh my God! No, no! <laughs> You've broken my heart, mate. You've broken my bloody heart. And you know, it could have been a lot worse. You could have, you could have said Chelsea now or Tottenham or Spurs. I yeah, could have, I could have said Tottenham, innit? No. Yeah, if you'd have said no, Tottenham, I would have had to click the disconnect button, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I've actually, it's surprising. I've actually got a bunch of friends who are Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal supporters. In fact, uh, my buddy Lee, who's uh, he, he's he's a real Real character, and uh, he, he says uh, he's, when he went to school round round by uh, Upton Park, he said he said a lot of my mates were ex RCF. He said he said and he didn't even know it until he, he went drinking with them one night. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, speaking of Spurs, though, um, 
you actually that, that was your first Premier League appearance, even though it was only what five minutes. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the first. Yeah. yeah, and then you got your debut, uh, your first full debut against Wigan away. Um, so what was that experience like, though? Especially on the road, yeah, in your first 90 minutes in, in the Premier um, League match. Yeah, it was good. Um, I, was, I was a bit surprised because... Um, because... No, nah, actually, I wasn't surprised, but I was at the same time. In the midweek, we had a reserve game, and we played Birmingham at Upton Park. And um, we beat them 6-0 and I scored a hat-trick. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so then on the Saturday, obviously I was training with the first team anyway. But then on the Saturday, I just thought I'll be in the squad. And then on the Friday, when we were doing the team shape, um, I was in the starting team. Yeah. So I was like, I, I, I thought he was just doing that for the sake of it, like because he wanted to um, make everyone... Confused of what the team was going to be, <laughs> uh, I didn't think I was actually going to start. And then he was doing set pieces and stuff. And then I was actually being told where to be uh, for the game and who I was probably, who would probably be marking me and things like that. I was like, I can't get, oh wow. Yeah. So I was actually starting. So then it, it was it was good. It was a different experience because I um, I went from playing in front of no one to playing in front of 40, 50,000. Yeah. Now you always see, you always seemed a very cool, calm, and collected character. So I mean, did, did you have any nerves or anything you were, when you were going out there? Honestly, I didn't think about it. I did it because I know I'm a person. If I think too much, it, it will get to me. Uh huh. So um, I didn't really think about. It. I didn't really feel anything. I just wanted to enjoy play and then just enjoy the. The time and what was your experience like uh tr even training under zola because we had jack collison on the show uh, a good friend of mine he yeah. he's he always says that you know zola was his favorite manager yeah he was mine as well to be fair because he he was still a player at the time so you could have actually respect him because he got he got involved and his knowledge of the game was like exceptional so and then you had steve clark with him yeah he was uh, an unbelievable coach. Uh, some of the training sessions that he came up with was, for me, was, yeah, it was always fun. And for me as a player, I always wanted to enjoy training. No. So good. But then also we had Kevin Keane as well. Yeah. Yeah, we had Kevin Keane as well. And he, he was my best coach that I've, uh, I've ever had. And now he's back at West Ham in the academy. He, he replaced yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Jack, actually. <laughs> Funny enough. Yeah. Uh, I, I take it yeah. you think that's a pretty good move for West Ham to put him back in charge of the lads at the academy? Yeah, yeah, it's good because he knows the club. And he knows he knows um, how to get the best out of players. So, it's, it's good for him. so what, what, are your, um, what, are, what are some of your favourite moments, I guess, um, maybe even off the pitch at your time with West Ham? Like with some of the players or something, or you know, behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot. I, I've, I haven't got a, a particular favorite moment, but I just enjoyed. I uh, one, my actually my favorite time was going away preseason to China. Ah, first that's very topical this time of this time of the year, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I went away with the first team and. Yeah, it was a good experience. It was a good experience. So um, I enjoyed that because I was only a youngster and I played a few games and uh, I actually scored. So I, was, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I just liked scoring at the time. Now, you were pretty much you, you were pretty much the youngest youngest lad on the squad at that time, weren't you? Yeah, I was probably the youngest, actually. I but what, no, maybe one of the youngest, yeah. Was there anyone that really like took you under their wing and said, "Don't worry, I'm going to look after you"? Or, or, or was there anyone you looked up to on the squad at that time? Yeah, um, Carlton Cole always looked after me. To be fair, yeah. Um, uh, Danny Gabaldon um, always looked after me, and Kieran Dow. Yeah, and Carlton always seems that seems to be like a, just a real good straight guy. He's like he seems like he cares about people. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He's he's a good guy. If you've ever spoken to him, you see that he's actually genuine. So, yeah, he, he looked after me from then until now, actually. So we we caught you when you were about to go into a meeting. Um, what? Uh, I mean, when do you have to do that meeting? Right now? 
Kind of, yeah. But, kind um, of. <laughs> okay. nah, oh, walk, no. I've got, I've got a walk into the hotel um, just around the corner. I just parked up just now. All right. Um, well, do you want to do this again? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Just, um, yeah, give me, shout me a message when um, you'd like to do that again. I appreciate um, that. Whenever is convenient for you. Yeah, I mean, like, we, how, I mean, if you're not busy later, we could do it later, man. You know what I'm saying? Today, or if you can do it another yeah, another I, time. But, because um, we, we have nothing until, um, nothing until seven o'clock. We have an interview at seven o'clock, but before then, um, if you got nothing going on, just let me know and we'll get you back on here. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I could do it. Because um, usually, cause the thing is, usually we do like an hour. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. we've only I'll done just, 10 minutes. If you, if you said to me, I would have kept it free. I'm sorry, my man. I, I thought I did. But um, all right, cool. Yeah, just let me know, man. If you can do an hour today, let me know. If not, then we'll schedule another time. But listen, okay. Zavon, thank you so much, my man. Top man. I, I appreciate right. you. Coming. We really appreciate it. Good luck with your meeting, mate. Thank you. All right. Cheers. We'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. All right.